representative of us this afternoon. This afternoon we will, um, as you may already know, uh, be launching the Fiji Rugby Women's Campaign for three across uh, uh, three competitions, namely being the Roasted Chicken, Fijian and Drua uh, campaign, also for the ANZ Marama competition and the Royal Tiranandi competition. You will see to my left trophies that are going to be uh, uh, in, the, in 30 days' time. Women don't fight. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. <laughs> in, in rugby, we do. So, <laughs> But without further ado, I will the Honourable Prime Minister to uh, deliver his report uh, for us this afternoon. The Honourable uh, Penny Wong, the uh, Australian Minister of Foreign Affairs, members of the uh, Australian government delegation, Te uh, Tuloa, press and the media, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to deliberately before whether you mind people calling you Penny Wong rather than Penelope Wong. Penny is fine. Okay, thank you. Penelope is usually when my mother's telling me off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be sharing this space with the Australian uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs and uh, be with you all this evening. As you know, the theme of uh, this week's special leaders meeting here in Denrau is a reflection, renewal, and self to them. So commit ourselves to renewing in our gathering this afternoon. Playing a vital role in uh, promoting regional cooperation and integration, addressing common challenges, and improving the lives of the people of the Pacific region. And reflection, and in keeping with the Meeting theme, rugby's remarkable uh, treasure trove of uh, two Olympic gold medals, one bronze medal, one quarter cup uh, final at the Rugby World Cup in, uh, and the IRB Seven Series champions, and one, and one super women's wing. Uh, and also one Prime Minister. <laughs> Twice. I also acknowledge the accomplishment of the Women's Rugby League uh, team in Fiji that have, uh, against all odds, made a series of exceptional accomplishments in the last few years. Well done, girls. That is since it was launched in 2017 by winning the Super W in its maiden season. Olympic bronze medal in 2021 and a silver in the 2022 Commonwealth Games. You probably know, uh, Excellency, that I, I carried the Fiji flag at the Commonwealth Games in 1974, but I didn't win any medal. <laughs> I'm also I'm only keeping the flag bearing uh, photo. The magnitude of our women's achievements has uh, demonstrated to everyone in Fiji, and hopefully abroad, that Fiji's national sports to everyone. This is incredi incredibly important because all we want to do is uh, make people aware that sports can contribute to the improvement of our health, the improvement of our education systems and uh, participation, creation of employment, stimulating economic development, realizing human rights and gender equality. These are values we hold dear here in Fiji and uh, you also hold very dear in Australia and everybody Gender. Everyone present here today understands, understands that, and it's therefore very, very important. And I'd like to acknowledge the incomparable support. This gathering underscores the importance of our 
and I just clarified that concept with uh, uh, with the Honorable Minister, that Wubale is not neighborly. Wubale is one home, family. That's our, our people together. This is evident in the immeasurable impact that the Pacific Australia Sports is making in ensuring that Pacific and Australian athletes are not only training and playing together at the highest levels, but also forging dizzying higher. I'm reliably informed Fiji stepped in in order to, uh, so that other international unions were incapable of accepting the invitation. And most remarkable is that the tour was resounding success for both. The both. It was so important for Fiji that we brought back a soldier serving in Malaya to play. And if you look at the Fiji Rugby Union uh, uh, wall now, and uh, it, you will see a striding Fijian rugby player. That uh, player was brought back from Malaya to represent Fiji in that tour. He was uh, Joe Levula, a chief from Nandi, the land we stand on tonight. The Governor of Fiji is committed to seeing this partnership grow not only as an enabler for achieving sustainable development goals, but more importantly, and as, a, uh, as Mandela said in, 20, in the 2000, sports has changed the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to our youth in a language they understand. Sports can create hope where there was only despair." End of quote. Therefore, we must all continue that momentum of the kind of support that has made today possible. And I'd like to uh, acknowledge the local businesses who have stood in the gap for our women. NZ, you recognize that, Australian New Zealand Bank. C.J. Patel Group of Companies, Royal E, Fun Flavor, and Widbix Brands, Fiji Airways, Fiji Gas, Rooster Chicken, and Tropic Wood Industries Limited. And as we look forward and prepare for the enormous decade of sports and rugby ahead of us, we know that there is significant opportunity to progress together as one Pacific Wubale. Union is keen to partner with the rugby, with rugby Australia and Pacific Australia tournaments and competitions in commemorating that journey. In commemorating that journey, let us continue to reflect on the lessons and achievements that we have experienced together as a Wubale. Let us also make the time, take the time to renew our commitments to that Pacific Wubale. Let us recognize that our unique cultures and traditions are what binds us together today. We've come together this long, this far, and we come together again to mark and celebrate together, which unites us and makes us strong. Now we're able. Thank you. Honorable Prime Minister, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if I may, very briefly, the Pacific Oz Sports Program, administered to, through the Australian Government's Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, has been instrumental in catapulting women's rugby in Fiji, particularly through the Oceania Sevens in 2021, which laid the platform for bronze medal win for Fijiana Sevens at the Tokyo Olympics. The Rooster Chicken Fijian Drua 2022 successful campaign resulting in their winning the Super W in their maiden, uh, maiden season. Who can forget? Maybe uh, the Waratahs fans in the room. <laughs> but yeah, none of us has forgotten the historic win over the Waratahs 32 36. It was the first time the Fijian Drua were playing in the competition and they went 
unbeaten while the Waratahs had won the previous four times and were unbeaten until they met the mighty Fijian and Rua. Fourth, the Honourable uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs of Australia. Well, that's quite an introduction, isn't it? <laughs> These are the queue uh, deeply for uh, generosity in receiving me uh, and for your leadership, not only in your election, uh, okay. but uh, also uh, bringing together this uh, special leaders uh, uh, summit uh, for the Pacific Island Forum. Uh, and uh, I'm here in Fiji again representing uh, Australia. Uh, we have an enduring relationship many aspects uh, from sport uh, to education to climate uh, to defence and security uh, and that's as it should be. No. That's as it should be. Uh, I was... Uh, I thank you for your words of wisdom about uh, the meaning of Vuvale, one home, family, one home, uh, and your uh, one home, uh, and your uh, your expression of hope for renewal and strengthening the relationship. We share that. We share uh -huh. that, and I hope uh, to building on our shared priorities. Um, uh, one of those, obviously, is climate. Uh, and I did want to take the opportunity to have the first uh, announcement in, in relation to that strengthening and renewal, which is an additional $10 million from Australia to help rebuild schools in Fiji's northern division that were devastated by the tropical cyclones in 2020 and 2021. Uh, we, uh, this is uh, additional funding on top of an existing program, which will enable us to rebuild all nine or damaged, but most importantly, not just rebuild them, but rebuild them, rebuild them to a higher standard. So uh, they are category got five. Uh, and importantly for F Fiji, that we use local um, sources, local work with you. But of course, the big, the big news today is uh, uh, the uh, launch of the 2023 um, Fiji women's rugby season. Uh, and it's a, it's a happy event, isn't it? It's a happy event. It's a wonderful, it's a real privilege to be here and we're very pleased to support um, some of this through Pacific Goals Sports, although I did say to my staff as we were driving here, so let me get this clear, we help they beat us more. <laughs> I said, is that really, really going to go down well in Australia? What do you think? <laughs> but I, look, the Prime Minister spoke much more eloquently than I could about what sport means the way it brings people together uh, from all uh, walks of life. And you know that if you go to big sporting events, uh, there are more people from different parts of the community than at any other event you go to except possibly uh, you know, meetings of faith. Uh, and it's a wonderful thing. Uh, and if I may, on, on uh, the participation of women, which is really the trajectory of popularity and engagement has been fantastic, so congratulations. You know, we want, Australia wants to support the full participation of women in society because we believe the community benefits from that. So yes, I believe in gender equality. Um, we would talk about that, but it is actually about a stronger community. It's a stronger community if you get the benefit of all of the skills and talents of your, your society. And that means the full participation of women and girls. And one of the ways in which you do that is through sport. Uh, it's, it's empowering uh, and it um, demonstrates that participation. Uh, so I'm very, very grateful um, for the opportunity of being here. Uh, and uh, you know, I wish you luck, but not too much luck. Uh, finally, if I may just um, uh, mention a couple of more things about the Pacific Island Forum Special Leaders Meeting. I want to again acknowledge the Prime Minister Rambuka's leadership as chair, uh, and I look forward to looking, of, look forward to working, of course, with uh, 
the Cook Islands as well when they assume the forum chair. I want to again place on public record our deep appreciation uh, of uh, Prime Minister Rambuka, uh, the uh, all leaders, including uh, President Mau Mau uh, and the Micronesian President Summit in demonstrating leadership uh, at a time which I think uh, you know, it was important and to say again how a, a strong and United Pacific Islands Forum, we believe, is in all of our interests. And we thank you. No. Thank you for your, your part in that. No. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be with you today. Thank you. Now we'll have... Thank you very much, Honourable Prime Minister and uh, Honourable Minister. We will uh, have an opportunity to ask questions now. I can uh, see members of the media already looking in my direction. Uh, we will uh, limit, uh, but if, uh, if we could start with the questions now. Thank you. No questions? It's I mean. We must. No. Huh? Hey. Really? Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, that, oh, okay. Sorry, that, no, we'll move on to our next event, and that's see, being. They're more interested in the rugby. Though. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the reality, isn't it? Okay. That's good. We'll move move to present uh, the honourable prime minister with our gift before he presents it uh, to. Uh, if you come uh, in front of your lectins, please. <laughs> 